Why is it so dark in here? That's a good question. <coughs> Exclamation point. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Steps Basic, and welcome back to uh, three ten-minute games. The series, if you remember, I had uh, started last week where we were going to be featuring all ten of these ten ten-minute games things from Steam. And, uh, yeah, the next one we have up is... What's this thing called? A uh, Handmade Death Labyrinth. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Oh, hello. Hey, this Death Labyrinth is yours to explore. Don't worry about dying. You'll always fall back into the dream. What I'm saying is, I'll bring you back. Thanks, I think. I'm sorry, what'd you say? I am the dreamer. Ready to wake up? No? Oh. Oh, cool. I have a sword. I have stamina. I have hit points. Wow. Stranger, they dream that they hear you. What if... Fire? <laughs> huh. Fire, you say? Cool. Oh, what... What... What is... Oh, shoot. Guardian Golem. 62% of damage limit sustained. Golem has fully recovered. 0% of damage limit sustained. Okay, well, thanks, Golem, dude. I didn't know you were there. Everything just kind of blends in. This kind of puts me back in the mind of, like, hi. The wizard of something or other is down this passageway. Death comes easy in this place, you know. It ain't worth it. You're not getting by me. I'm not. But I want your fire. I think I just blew up. Uh... Hi, buddy. You having a nightmare about a thunder rune? I've increased your maximum HP by 10. So I get blown up and it gives me more life. Cool, I like that. What if the door, the open door? Hmm. You mean this one over here? Yeah, let's go use this door over here. It's so boring and stuff. What's this? No, it's another rune. I'm an idiot. Don't step on the thunder rune. What's that thing? God dang. Ah. Ew. M Meh. Monster tried to kill me. Uh oh, we got some more monsters. Hey, buddies. Hey, ow. Ow. Ow, you hurt. You hurt a lot. Oh, stop. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Ah. ah, help. He's still here. He's still here. Help. Help. You're having a nightmare about an undead thing. I guess. I don't know. I've increased your maximum HP by 40. Well, nice, dude. Thanks. I can certainly use that. Hello, friends. I'm going to avoid you. Ow, my body. So much on my body. Ow. Hello. Bait him. Uh, <laughs> got him. Yeah, all right. I have an idea. Hi, guys. Come play. Want to play? You want to play with me? Come on. You can do it. Oh, those guys are too nasty. <sighs> Alright, All right. bye. I'm so much better than you. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Uh oh. The Wizard of Five Things. I am the Wizard of Five Things. I'll defeat you with my things. And should I run out? Why, I might just have a sixth of my sleeve. Or outside my sleeve. <laughs> Prepare yourself, hero. Oh, ho, ho. oh, ho. Epic dodges. No, no, no. Ah, I missed. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. He left some toxicness. Oh, my. Ow, my body. Oh. Okay. Made it here with more life this time. Hi, Wizard of Five Things. You'll never take me alive. Oh, ho. epic dodge. Never take me alive. Oh. Epic dodge. Never take me alive. Oh. Uh, he blew up that crystal ball thing. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Haha. You don't have any things left. Haha. Oof. I suppose this makes you the hero of five things. Haha. <laughs> 
Oh, I, I see. More clearly now. Well, you can access your inventory by holding tab or one or any other face button on your controller. Oh, neat. Oh. Can I kill him? Oh, that's just, uh, oh yeah, you said that. Alright, um, one second. That was a little loud. Alright, so I have the five things, but they seem to be dead. You'll never take me alive, folks! Ow, 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 stop hitting me with your sharp pointy sticks. Bye. What is wizard's magic? Mm. Hi, friend. It's me again. You really did it. I'm impressed. Huh? You want this torch? It's burning light in this green place. I'll give you my torch if you defeat another one of these wizards. Thanks. Okay, so I guess we gotta find a wizard then. No lightning rune. Can I kill you? Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Sixty-two percent of the damage limit sustained. Golem is fully recovered. Zero percent of the damage limit sustained. So maybe if I find oh these I guess represent the wizards. So there's three wizards out here. So maybe if I find the... Oops. What happened? Hey, buddy. You defeated a wizard? That's really something it is. There's only three more. Maybe you'll be the one to do this. Three more. Oh. So... What if fire... Fire? You mean fire on this guy? Wait, didn't he have one of the... Uh -huh. Ouch. I hit myself with that. Oh, okay, I get it now. This heals me and restores my ability to use those things. So if I do this, well, the fire didn't work. Um, lightning bolt. Eighty-two percent of damage limit. Okay. So I gotta. Oh, maybe I can do a mixture of both, actually. Sword. One hundred and three percent damage sustained. Golem is not fully recovered because he's dead. Yo. Woo. Don't suppose that counts as a wizard. Did that count as a wizard? A wizard or something or others down this passage. You're not getting by me, but yeah. Wait a minute. Do I have to kill the other wizard again? Well, let me check out over here first. No lightning runes. Oh. <laughs> They're scary lightning runes. Ah. More of these weirdos. Ow. Get, get away. Get away. Jerks. Man, they were awful feisty, weren't they? Oh, look, we got more of them. Oh, that was two of them. Well, that's weird. Ah, this one's two as well. Oh, there's more than two. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Let me let me go. Oh. I got killed by the brown thingy. Stop pushing me. <laughs> You're having a nightmare about cockroaches. Ew. Increase max HP by 20. Thanks, buddy. Alright, so Jeta. Keep forgetting about those things. Uh so that dude said something about fire. In this fire. Oh wait. Um, first, let's get through this guy first. All right. Um. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Ah, one second. Well, ah, poop, get away, jerk. 
Nice. Okay, doing great, doing great, doing grand. Alright, I got an idea. Come get me, buddy. Oh my god, there are so many of these little freaks. Let me out. Please tell me that's the last one. Because, oh my god. So many of them. I did it, though. I killed them all. I did it. Yeah. Those eyes over there staring at me in the dark? I wonder if that means there's like a secret passage or something. A passage. Okay. More cockroaches. No, no. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I'm just going to sneak by it. I'm going to... I didn't sneak by it, that's for sure. Well, excuse me, friend. Sorry about that. Bye. <laughs> hey, I got killed by that thing over there. Having a nightmare about a spiny snail. Is that what it is? Well, more life. That's not a bad thing. Oh, get out of my way. Ah. Leave me alone. Huh. Ah. All right, and don't hurt me. No, I'm too young. I'm too young. Oh, God dang it. Hopefully it is you and not me who shall perish unceremoniously. All right, so let's hit them with this. Hit the skull snail dude with this. Well, didn't kill him. Ah, oh, poop. Okay. Ow, it hurts. Aha! That's the trick to it. Dang it. Ah, got him, finally. Jesus, wept. Oh, boy. Um, yes, this is this one. Oh, boy. I can't... Am I killing the slimes? Or is my attack just bouncing off of them? Oh boy. Oh. Well, they don't seem to be killing me either. Huh. Is that good or bad? Well, I don't have any more of the other wizard's abilities. Hello. Wizard of the Slime Pit. I am the Wizard of the Slime Pit. Dearest hero, this will be unpleasant. But I will set you free from the one who has been manipulating you. What? Prepare yourself, hero. No. You shall not. Oh, God. Oh, God. So the other one was easy. I just had to make him waste all of his attacks. But this guy doesn't seem to... Ow. Oh. Did he turn me into a slime? You've come back. Well, it might take some time for you to accept your fate. That's fine. What? Go on, player. Roam about your to your satisfaction. Player, are you breaking the third wall here, buddy? Oh, I'm a slime. Oh, gross. Icky. The snail is silent, but its eye stalks follow you carefully. It seems content. What the heck happened? 
This shifting mass of cockroaches are crawling all over each other. Little legs on little shelves. Ugh. Icky. It's hard to count how many there are here. They seem preoccupied. Well, that's probably good, because, ew. Icky. These insects scamper towards you, eager for something. I've got nothing for you, Disgusting. Yeah. Pair of cockroaches. These roaches are waiting here. Or maybe they're sleeping. Or maybe they're icky and gross. This little insect is watching you patiently. That's probably a good thing. This little insect is chirping and scuttling around in the muck. Ew. This little insect is content in its, little, in its alcove. Good for it. This little insect is hissing at you. Well, you can't please everyone. Red. Can I just end my life? Oh, I don't trigger the runes anymore. Nice. Hello, Mr. Golem. Oh, wait. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's a little sweet, a little cute. Kind of reminded me back in the day stuff. You know, back when I was younger, the types of games I used to play then. Legend of Zelda comes to mind immediately. Ah. But there you go. That is... See you in issue one. <laughs> so this was issue zero. Handmade Labyrinth. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. Wait, I can talk to the Guardian Goblin. Slimes are not permitted to leave. Rude. Slimes can't dream. Rude. Goodbye, player. Bye. Oh. Anyway, on to the next game. Alright, so the next game is called Sealed Estate by Jacinimo Games. Press to start. Ow. Ah, hello. Wait, where'd that one go? Bye. Uh, oh, okay. Hello. Grab the keys. I grab... I uh, grab the... Oh, Jesus. Grab the wheel. Holy mackerel. Oh, Lord. Steer the car safely. Okay. Nailed it. Awesome. Oh, boy. This is insane driving here. Steer to car safely. Not steer the car safely. Safely. I did. Maybe I didn't do it. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, hello. This is me. Yeah, not going to drive again. Anybody here? Hello, I'm over here. I hear people laughing. There's a cute little uh, thingy going on here. I hear more people laughing. What the heck is going on here? Open door? Hey, did you know your door is open? I did? Is that an open door or an iron? What the heck is going on here? Hello? Can I come in? It's freezing cold out here. Please can I come in? My car isn't working. Well, yeah, it's because you crashed it, you numb. Please. Huh? I heard some laughter earlier. Can you please, oh, say something? No. Hello? Hello? I'm not an intruder just coming in to say hi. It's not how it works, dude. Okay, I'm stepping inside for a split second. The wind is getting stronger for some reason. Who locked the door? Oh, is this one going to be a horror game? Oh, oh, sealed estate. Why is it so dark in here? That's a good question. <coughs> Exclamation point. Oh my god. Um... What is that? What 
Of what? The sound or? Something's trying to get through that door over there. Okay, moving on. Bye. I need to get out of here. I agree. Oh no. Here we go again. Help! 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 What is going on? An arrow. Huh? Who's there? I... Don't know if I want to know. Okay. What is going on in this game? I don't even know what... Who's there? Someone? Anyone? Speak to me. You've got... I'm very scared and alone. And my car blew up outside. Anything else, else, else in here? Where are, are the doors? Oh no. I see you eyeball. I see you eyeballing me. Oop, stuck on a wall. Pardon me. And around the corner. And up here. There we go. And poof. Hello, TV. Hello, TV. I love you, Teddy. I'm only doing this for your own good. Where's the power button? Is it over here? Over here? Okay, bye, television. Just gotta walk away from it. It's a good lesson for life, you know? Just gotta walk away from your television. Another TV. I don't like it. Hello, television. I'm so sorry, Teddy. I didn't want it to turn out like this. Then you shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have done what you did. Who is Teddy? <coughs> and here I thought I was Teddy. I need to get out of here. Yeah, you ain't just whistling Dixie, dude. Teddy surrogate. Is this just a big old coil? Okay, good. Close the door quickly. No. Uh, uh, no, cl close it. How do, how do you make sure it is closed? It is closed. Use the button. Jesus Christ. Ah. There we go. Just had to beat it up. Cool. Someone help. Oh, they got some spaghetti sauce everywhere. What's this? Mommy still loves you, Teddy. I forgive you. Mommy will never hate you, my sweet prince. Run, Teddy. Run. Get new parents. Just adopt. It's great. Oh my god. So much marinara sauce in here. Oh. A dear diary, it was my birthday today. But something bad happened. I fell asleep and woke up in the hospital. It was very scary. Teddy. Oh, what'd you do, Teddy? Oh, Teddy, what happened to you? What'd your mom do? What? I did. Stop it. Stop it. Dear Diary, everything hurts, but Mommy said I'll get better soon. I asked about Daddy, and she said he's coming home from the super secret lab he works at. So excited, Teddy. All right, poor, poor Teddy. Uh, dear Diary, Daddy hugged me for a long time today. He said everything's going to be okay as he hugged me. He's going to make me all better. Daddy's going to do science magic. I'm super excited now, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. I'm trying. I regret everything. Oh. Okay. Hello. What are you? Dear diary, I hate dad. He promised me I would help him to lab. I would help him in the lab, but he looked locked himself in his big poopy butt lab. Gross. That's a big poopy butt. I promise you, Daddy, I'll never leave your side again. I hope your mother will forgive me. Oh, what'd you do, Daddy Cakes? Uh, eyeballs. Oh, eyeballs. So many eyeballs. What the heck is going on in this place? Ay -ay -ay. Hey. Did. Uh, read. No, read the... Dear Diary, Mommy started turning off the lights. It's very scary. She said Daddy needs a house juice for his poopy butt experiments. Dad won't let me in his lab. I still hate him, Teddy. And I was just wandering. I just crashed my car nearby, and then all the madness happened. Teddy, 
Daddy can't see you in the dark right now. I left you a flashlight. Well, thanks, Daddy. Oh, no. Uh, mm, uh. Click. Oh, no, pick it up. Okay, cool. Does the light do anything? Ah. It powers things up. Cool. Uh, yeah. Oh. Why? Eyeballs. Why are these things things that things happen? Oh, why do you do this to me, game? It is weird. Alright. Okay. Just gotta click in once. Don't have to click and hold. Oh, boy. Hello, television. Teddy, don't stare into the eyes. Okay. Poke. Poke. Okay, cool. Well, don't know what that is. Hey, the eyes are gone. Cool. Get out of my way. Okay, moving on. Bye. This is a really weird house. Burn it again. Burn what again? Oh my god, there's so many eyes. I feel like I'm playing Alan Wake again. Nailed it. Burn what again, though? Okay, moving on. Hi, television. My only friend. Teddy, it wasn't your fault. It was that creature. Uh, what creature, Dad? Are you a creature? Oh, it's more of these. Yep, yep, bye. Got it. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I don't like this place, Daddy. Okay. It's scary and dark and haunted. It's got eyeballs. Is that an eyeball? No, okay. It made me make those boxes. I can only pray for God to forgive our actions, Teddy. Who's Teddy? What creature? What boxes? These things? <coughs> Get out. I'm getting out. I am so getting out. I'm getting out so far. You don't even know, dude. I'm going to be so far gone. You're going to be like, wow, that's so far out there, dude. Dead is so far out there. Hi. Burn. Pop. There we go. In here. Whoop. There we go. Whooshy sounds. Oh, hi. 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 Okay, so. Don't shine the light on those ones because they come after you. Cool. Oh, poop. Okay, good. As long as the light doesn't hit them, it's fine. So we gotta lure it out of the hallway. Oh, that is fast. If I do this. Okay, good. Shoot. Oh. Okay. Come on up. Come on, oh, don't be shy. There, there, little eyeball. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Got it. Thanks. Probably could have made that easier on myself by luring it away first, but you know what? Shut up. It's fine the way it is. I spit on myself. Hi! Oh god, that was so fast. Okay, well. Okay then. Pardon me, friends. Just gonna sneak by you here. Oh boy. So fast. 
Ah, 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 ah. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're good. Good, we're Gucci, we're golden. Gravy. That will get me by this without triggering any of the evil. Nailed it. So awesome. I'm so good at this. Psh. One second, let me read this. Dear Teddy, I don't know when the paradise will leave your body again and search for me, or parasite, sorry, search for me in order to make those box creatures. I leave this device here so you can record a message for me. Love, Dad. Okay. I'm working on it, you jerk. Don't whisper in my ears. <laughs> and poof. Okay, good, good. All right, here we go. Move through. Ooh, do, do, do. Hello? Get out. Shut up. That's another boom box. Owl. <laughs> Get owl. I'm working on it. Alright. We gotta be getting near the end of this already, but. Oof. Oh, we're back in the whooshies. Nailed it. So smart. I pre game that one. Hello. Teddy? No, I am not Teddy. You should not be here. I doubt you escaped that parasite's sight. It stole my son. Close your eyes. It is already here. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Teddy. <laughs> Knife to meet you, son. Wow. That was kind of intense, but I was enjoying the heck out of it. Seal the State by Solomon Shuri. That was exciting. That was fun. That was neat. I liked that one. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making. Created for 10 milligram. A collection of 10 minute long games. A little bit longer than 10 minutes, but I'm not going to nitpick first game I played was 24 minutes long, but I did, did just keep dying a lot, so. 10 milligrams. Definitely not 10 minute games. Oh, okay, cool. I guess we're done now. This game, the next one, is called Slasher Interrupted. I know you can't really see the R in it because my face has interrupted it, but you know what? Let's get in here and see what this one's going to be like. I don't know what this one's about either. Well, I didn't really know what any of them are. This person's a vegan. That's a vegan. Anyway. Content warnings, mild drug use, swearing, description of murder. If you'd like a different name, enter it here. The, na the game will use she, her pronouns for you. Sounds good. I think I'll just stay as Emily. I like Emily. Emily's a good name. Everything feels smothered in darkness. Just the faintest glow from the moon lighting up the edges of shapes. Street lights flicker and fail as you walk and the sound of your footsteps echoes in the silence. Your phone struggles to cling on to life as you use it to light your way, but as you reach the end of the road, the battery gives out. It takes a moment for your eyes to adjust, swaying on your feet, hesitating before soldiering on. You see something out of the corner of your eye. Eek! It's a monster, Ellie. It's coming to get you. Stop it! You made me jump! Rosie laughs and retrieves her hand after making Ellie jump. K 
Caroline smirks briefly, then waves a hand to shush them. Quiet, girls. Let Emily continue. I want to hear what happens. The three of them settle down, Rosie, Ellie on a blanket, Rosie and Ellie on a blanket, and Caroline in a camp chair next to it. The campfire illuminates their faces with flickering orange light, shadows stark and sinister, on otherwise cheerful expressions. You clear your throat and continue where you left off. Uh, okay, so you see something out of the corner of your eye. Whatever it is, you can't make it out before it disappears. Squinting at the darkness, you make your way down the street to the house. The wind whines through the trees, plaintive and warning, sending a chill up your spine. When you reach the gate, the outdoor light triggers and illuminates the garden. Disappearing behind a tree, you see... A kitty! <laughs> it's not going to be a cat. Well, what you think it is. If it were me, it'd be like an old Halloween decoration that makes you jump. That's so lame. You're both lame. Clearly, this is a horror story. She's going to say, a wicked blade flashes in the dark or something. I don't remember what Caroline's voice was to begin with, but now she's prissy. Not prissy, uh, prim and proper, there's the word. Huh. <laughs> Feels like the girls are trying to lead you toward three different stories. Click a character's speech bubble or something to continue. That's not a Halloween decoration that makes you jump. Uh, uh, let's go for the horror story, man. I just love me some more. A wicked blade flashes in the dark. Nice. The glimmer of metal shits. Uh, bah, bah, bah. The glimmer of metal sets your heart beating, and you freeze on the spot as the knife disappears out of sight. When you can't bring yourself to take more than three steps into the garden, there's nothing. When you can, when you can bring yourself, God dang it! When you can bring yourself to take more than three steps into the garden, there's nothing to be seen behind the tree. Shapes move in the corners of your vision, and you look around frantically for whatever lurks in the shadows. You shout at the darkness, challenging whoever's there to show themselves. The only reply is the wind brushing through the trees, and the faintest hint of a laugh. <laughs> the laughter seems to come from different directions, and you feel small and vulnerable stood there in the garden. Clutching your dead phone to your chest, you try to make out anything in the edges. The laughter stops, and you can't see anything but trees and bushes. The feeling of being watched and taunted sh sends shivers up your spine. I believe I've said that one already in this. Hmm, yeah, reusing the metaphors. Anyway, you don't waste any more any time heading indoors. Hopefully, it'll feel safer inside familiar, warm, lockable doors. With a last quick check over your shoulder, you open the front door and let yourself in. The door closes with a creak. <laughs> oh, come on. That door doesn't creak. It does in the winter. I have to put WD-40 on the hinges. You do? Just because you don't notice doesn't mean it doesn't get done. Ain't that the truth, Caroline? Preach it to the heavens. The windows stick when it gets cold, too. Ahem. The three trail off quickly and let you keep talking. I didn't say it was our house. It's a house. It is totally your house. You're narrating, though. You keep that quiet. Anyway, the door opens with a creak, the only sound in the darkness. You close and lock it against the door, the outdoors, taking a deep breath of relief. But inside, it's weirdly quiet. You call out, hello, and nobody responds. You creep down the corridor and peek into the living room. The light is low, with quiet music playing on the stereo. Over the top of the sofa, you can see the backs of two people's heads, unmoving. A sense of dread washes over you as you step closer to the sofa to see they're dead. Nah, they're super stoned. No, they just fell asleep cuddling. Wait, I got the wrong voice. No, they just fell asleep cuddling. Mm, this could build a good horror story, but the death... God, I wanted to stick with the death. I, you know what? We're just going to go all Caroline's story for this. And that'll leave all the options open for the rest of y'all. You glance up at Caroline and keep following the horror vibe. You, oh, wait. <clears throat> ah. 
you glance up at Caroline and keep following the horror vibe you'd intended. You step closer to the sofa and every step causes a sick feeling in your stomach to rise. When you see the figures closer, you gasp and take a step back in shock. Shock. Sprawled out on the sofa are the bodies of... You hesitate for a moment, unsure if naming actual people is too weird. Of two friends, their clothes torn and bloodstained, cut up by some vicious knife. Eek! Who's the two friends meant to be? Like, just two friends of yours. Is it me and Ellie? I don't want to be stabbed. Fine, it's Jake and Amy. They came over for band practice. Now they're dead. Grody. Oh no, Jake and Amy are dead. Hey, I know you don't like them, but chill with the sarcasm. I don't actually want them dead, but stakes are higher if they're named, right? It's not, oh no, generic friend is dead anymore. It's visceral. I'd be sad if they got stabbed. <laughs> so your two named friends are dead on the sofa. That's classic Jake and Amy. You turn away from the grisly scene, horrified, your stomach churning at the sight. Churning, churning like one churns butter, churning. Anyway, here, the killer could be waiting. Anywhere, here, the killer could be waiting. I correct somebody's grammar, and then I mess up. Anyway, anywhere, here, the killer could be waiting, ready to strike again. The stereo plays on in the corner, ignorant of the death in the room, as the next dub track... Dub track? Dub track? Cues up? What's a dub track? Uh, I'm old. You go to switch it off, but a sound in the kitchen stops you, and you freeze. Something waits. You stare at the kitchen door, a grim sense of foreboding reboot. <laughs> a grim sense of foreboding rooting you to the spot. It feels inevitable that you'll have to open it. No, run away. Grab a weapon. F it, open the door. You take a few deep breaths and try to steal yourself. Looking around, all you can find for a weapon is an umbrella in the corner. You pick it up and weigh it in your hands. It's flimsy, but something, but it's something. You creep closer to the door and press your ear against it for a moment to listen. It's silent on the other side of the door, sinisterly so. One hand on the handle, you glance back at the sofa and swallow. Whatever's in the kitchen, you're facing it on your own. With one quick movement, you snap the handle down and push the door open to see... The killer. No, a surprise birthday. Nah, uh, a piece is on fire. Now I'm really tempted to do the surprise birthday because I want to explain the dead bodies on the couch if it's a surprise birthday. At the last minute, you chicken out from a different ending and go with Ellie's idea. Oh. Feels kind of jarring, but whatever. The story is so lo is a lost cause by now. As you open the door, there's a bang, and you close your eyes in shock. You raise the umbrella, umbrella and feel something light spatter against it. Letting your eyes open again, a shower of confetti falls on you. <gasps> Rosie yells, surprise, it's your birthday. A surprise? It's your birthday? It's my birthday, yay. People are dead out there. You hesitate for a moment, keenly aware of how shambolic this story is getting. Uh, Jake and Amy come up behind you and say, Happy birthday! The blood was fake! Yay! Yay! They're not dead. Caroline rolls her eyes. Ooh. Happy birthday. Ellie smiles and does a wiggle while sat on the blanket. Is there a birthday cake? Uh, yeah, there's a strawberry top birthday cake for you. And you've got presents, too. You look imploringly at Rosie and Kaz to help you out. Yay, what have you got me? Uh, Rosie holds out her half-smoked joint. Here's your present, kiddo. Ellie doesn't miss a beat and takes it from her with a grin. Yay, thank you, Rosie. You're so kind. A surprise birthday. I'm so glad. It's not even my birthday for a week yet. Your shoulders sag as you reach the end of the story. In front of you, the campfire is dimmed a little whilst you narrated and you nudge a log further in with your foot. 
Well, that's it. The end. Ellie claps excitedly for a second, beaming at you. Rosie raises her joint in applause. Kaz raises her mug of tea in appreciation. Huzzah. <laughs> that was, um... Bit of a change in tone. A bit, yes. I liked most of it. Nearly a solid slasher narrative. Yeah. But at least it had a cute moment. I got a nice birthday party. You mean the happy birthday? My best friends are dead and there's a knife guy outside laughing at us a bit. But it wasn't a murder. It was a fake blood, right? Yeah, that was a total, to that was totally a cop out. She glances over at you unimpressed. No, it was a surprise. So I didn't find out about the party. Well, why fake to be murdered? To hide the fact that it's a birthday party. I love it. It was definitely a cop out, lol. Shame you couldn't commit to the party slasher horror setup. Or maybe it's a double bluff. And next, the slasher comes in for real. That'd be fun. No, that's not what it's gonna be. Don't make me worry about a slasher. That wasn't the story, right? Well, now I'm in for a penny and for a pound. I have to. I have to side with Rosie here. No, the murders were uh, pretend. Nobody really looks impressed at the compromise. Rosie blows out a breath and laughs briefly, stubbing her roach into the grass. Anyway, story time over. Where's the snakes? They're in the tent. Ooh, give me some too. Rosie crawls off to fetch them, leaving Ellie to curl up on the blanket. In her camp chair, Kaz leans back and looks at the stars. Your story seems to have, well, at least entertained them a bit. Maybe you could have told it a bit more consistently. But it seemed like a good idea to try to please everyone. I think I kind of failed at that. <laughs> Kaz seems to notice you staring frustratedly at the fire and whistles quietly to get your attention. Hey, Emily, it wasn't that bad. Trying to appeal to everyone is admir admirable, at least. Thanks. Thought that... Uh, oh, excuse me, sorry. Oh, Thought that counts, right? Thought that counts, right? Mixed ending. <laughs> there you go. Slasher definitely interrupted there. I really like that. That was adorable. I like the characters. They're cute. And, uh, I mean, granted, they're all a bit one-dimensional. But that's kind of the point of it. So you can have a completely different take on, on your story. You can side with cute, kind of, you know, pot -heady kind of murder slasher fun and uh yeah that was my story and of course this is part of that 10 mg collection so if you want to try it out you can get a different ending at some point or you can probably get the game on its own but anyway apart from all that that's the end of this very 10 minute 10 milligram games hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did please go poke that like button for me if you like to see more from me make sure to hit that subscribe button and of course as always you are more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can oh when i can if i can you know all that jazz and tune in next time for another free games and until then good night